A heartbreaking story out of West Mifflin tonight. A husband calls 911 to report his house on fire, then frantically runs back inside to save his wife. Tragically, neither of them made it out alive. Neighbors tell Shelly Boards they were kind people who were always there with a helping hand. She's live right now. Shelly. Well, this is what's left of that couple's two story home. Take a look. Crews had to bring in heavy machinery to demolish this house piece by piece in search of the husband. My son came into my room at uh, by four o'clock in the morning said, Mom, a house is on fire. When Annette Brenfleck ran to her window, she never imagined what she'd see. Flames, heavy smoke, flashing lights, and first responders everywhere. When she realized it was the home of her sweet neighbors of 30 years, her first thought was their safety. Where are the people, the owners? It would be too late, though. When firefighters got here, they found the wife on the second floor. She was brought outside and pronounced dead. But it took several hours for crews to find her husband in the rubble. When I first moved in the neighborhood, the guy was very nice, came over, introduced himself, and it told, him, told me if I ever needed help to come see him. And that was the sentiment from several neighbors I talked to today. One woman has known the couple for years and says their house was always the one decked out for every holiday. Another said the couple was always baking and would share their dishes with neighborhood friends. The couple, I'm told, belonged to a bowling league and would often be seen heading out to their weekly game with a friendly wave. They were very sweet people. It's just going to be, uh, it's going to be a very, very sad day here. The cause of this deadly fire is still under investigation by the county fire marshal. I'm live in West Mifflin tonight. Shelley Bortz, KDKA News.